Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically send an email when a SharePoint list item is deleted using Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint Teams, and Power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so in this video, we're going to send an email when a SharePoint list item is deleted. So I will be working with my employee data list right here. I just have records of all my employees and I want to know if a user went in and deleted an employee. And to do that, we're going to be using Power Automate. So let's go ahead and navigate over to Power Automate. So in Power Automate, we're going to go ahead and click on New Flow. This is going to be an automated cloud flow from this option because we want it to automatically send us an email or automatically send whoever is in charge of the SharePoint list, so the admins of the SharePoint list, an email. So we'll just name the flow, deleted SharePoint item, email. And for the trigger, we are going to do when an item is deleted. Go ahead and click on create. All right, so in the new designer, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of Copilot. And let's go ahead and add our site address and list name. So the site address I'm using is my marketing SharePoint. You'll be able to find that by looking at your top left hand corner of your SharePoint site. If you're still not sure, you can go ahead and look in the URL and you'll be able to see that there. And the list name I am working with is my employee data list. So employee data. How often do you want to check for these items? I just have it set to an interval of five minutes. If you want to change that, I'll probably change that to one minute so we get the emails more often when I finish the, the flow. And there's nothing else you need to edit with that. So the next action you're going to want to do here is send an email. This flow is pretty simple, but it can save you a lot of headaches if you have someone uh, deleting SharePoint items when they shouldn't be. Okay, so for my two property of my send an email version two, I'm just going to do my email. So I will paste my Outlook email in there. If you want to do multiple emails, you can separate it by semicolons. I'm just doing one email for the subject. We'll go ahead and just add some information. So deleted item from SharePoint list employee data. Okay, in the body, we're going to include some of the information about the item. Hi, the SharePoint item was deleted. Here are some details below. Let's go ahead and add some details. So let's go ahead and see in our dynamic content what we can do. So it looks like we can see the ID deleted by and time deleted. So let's go ahead and add that data in. So we'll go ahead and do ID deleted by time deleted. And then I will just add in the dynamic content. Thank you, our automate team. Okay, so we have a nice little message for the user or the administrator of the SharePoint list. Uh, there's nothing else you need to really do here. If you want to CC some other people on it, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to BCC some other people, you can go ahead and do that. But it looks like this flow is all ready to do. So let's go ahead and delete a SharePoint item and see if it actually works. Okay, my flow is ready to go right now. It's just a two, two action flow, nothing, nothing crazy here. So most users will be able to do this with ease. So we'll go ahead and delete Allie right here. Let me go ahead and see what her ID is. The ID is showing. Let me just move that over to the left. So she is ID number eight. Let me go ahead and delete her. So I just deleted her. It'll probably take one to like two minutes for the email to come through because it is on an interval. And the de deleted item will also appear in your recycling bin. But if you're like me, you have a ton of items in your recycling bin, so it could be hard to see what was actually deleted. 
All right, so it's been a couple minutes. It looks like our flow finally ran. So we're gonna look at the steps to make sure everything looks correct. So it looks like an item was deleted and we're gonna look at the email. So send them my email. So let's go ahead and check that out. So in my Outlook inbox, we have a new item, delete item from SharePoint list employee data. I a SharePoint item was deleted. Here are some details. So ID number eight, deleted by Michael, that's my user. Time deleted is 416 and it's in UTC time zone. So if you wanna convert this, I, I'll do it really quick for everybody. I know a lot of people don't use UTC uh, time zone. So um, we'll do it really quick just to convert this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the time deleted. I'm just clicking on it, pressing control C to copy it. So it should be copied. I'm gonna delete that, go to FX. We're going to do convert from UTC. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the trigger outputs time deleted. So that is exactly what I copied. We're removing the curly brackets and the add symbol. And we're gonna go ahead and do comma. So the destination time zone for me is Eastern Standard Time. And then the format I want this in is year, month, day. So then we're going to include the hour and minutes. I'm going to do that in lowercase right here. Let's go ahead and update this. Go ahead and save the flow. And I'll go ahead and put this in my notepad to show everybody. So if you want to take a pause the video and take a screenshot, I just have uh, the year, the month, the day, the hours, and the minutes. Let's go ahead and test this. All right, if you look at the email right now, we have time deleted, uh, the year, the month, the day, the hour, and the minutes. So 5.06, it was deleted. If you look at the email time, it is PM. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video about how to send an automated email when a SharePoint list item is deleted. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below, and I will catch you in the next video.